everyone. I'm Kelly Volker on the social media team here at Graco, and this is our third how-to video for you to show you some quick and simple tips on how to pack up and then unpack your pack and play really easily. So Chad here, he's on our engineering team. He's going to show you how to do it. So Chad, I'll give this to you. <laughs> Great. Thanks, Kelly. All right, well, let's get started. Grab your instruction manual and, of course, your pack and play. So we're going to jump right in. Let's remove... Uh, the travel case here. Set that bag to the side. First thing I want you to notice is our instruction manual right here. Um, make sure you follow along as we're assembling this. Um, we're going to start with step number one. And uh, first we'll set up our play yard. So undo the Velcro straps here. We'll open up everything inside. Now this mesh is for the fastnet itself, so we'll set that aside for now. Okay, we'll grab our play yard here. Um, I want you to notice that I have the wheels uh, on the side closest to the ground. Um, so now this is in the collapsed position, uh, and there's four latches that will lock this thing into place. Um, you can see here this round button. This is one of the latches, and there's one on each, each of the four sides. So I'm going to position it um, just like this, and I'm going to put my hands on the bottom side of this right latch, and then again on this left latch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up and out, and I'm going to take this V right here and basically make it straight. So you can see as I do this, it'll, it'll lock into place. See, there we go. It locked it. So now these two left and right hands are locked. I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make this V now straight. So lift up. You can hear they both locked into place. And now the final step is taking this red um, strap right here, pushing down on it, and lifting up on one side. There you go. It popped into place. So now that was step one through five of the instruction manual. Uh, now for step six and seven, we will take this mattress pad here and we'll put it in the bottom of the play yard. Um, make sure that the soft side of the, the mattress pad is facing up. Um, we can tuck these tags underneath. Now to secure the mattress pad, there's a strap on each side, two straps total, and a slot in the bottom of the play yard. Now we'll thread that strap through the slot, and if you'll notice, there's a, another Velcro um, strap on the bottom. So secure that, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. <clears throat> so again, secure it to the Velcro. And there we go. That's our play yard with the mattress pad in there. And again, that was step one through seven of the instruction manual. Um, so next we're going to assemble, we're going to convert this basically into a bassinet um, from this play yard mode. Um, now this will be step 16 and 17 in your instruction manual. Um, the first thing we have to do is just take this mattress pad out. So we'll reverse the steps we just did. Undoing the Velcro on the bottom. And then itself. So we can set that aside for now. We will need that in one second. Now there's two other tubes in here. We'll set them aside for one moment. Now this is the, uh, the bottom of the bassinet. You'll notice there's several of these plastic, um, I guess it kind of looks like a C shape. Um, there's two of these for each side of the bassinet. And we're basically gonna, going to suspend this mesh netting from the sides of the best, uh, of the pack and play. So, um, let's see, make sure we have this. Now, on this bassinet netting, there's a warning label. Now, we want this warning label on the short side of the bassinet, just as I have it here. So we'll start with this side, take these C-clips, and we'll press it over sides of the bassinet. Now if you notice, 
you can feel the latch underneath um, the soft goods here. We don't want the C-clip on top of that. We want that C-clip towards the, uh, the sides of the play yard so it snaps in fully. So we'll continue this all the way around. Oops. So you can see I have mine, I don't have it centered. There we go, snapped in there. Okay, and the last one. Okay, so that's the first part of the bassinet. Now we take these two tubes here, and you'll notice uh, in this netting there's two, well, there's four. Um, little pockets for the tube. So we'll take one, the first tube, insert it into the pocket. So now the first tube's secured to the netting. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Now it may seem at first that these might be uncomfortable for your child, but they are very important to uh, create a nice rigid bottom to the bassinet. Now we're going to take the mattress pad here and simply put it in the bottom. Uh, there's some Velcro on the bottom of the mattress pad that'll secure this in place. We can press it down so it's nice and even. Tuck the tag away. And there you go. So those were the last two, uh, step number 16 and 17. We've converted it to bassinet mode. So now that's the uh, unfolding of the uh, product. Now we're going to show you how to collapse it and fold it back up into the bag. So we'll again reverse the steps we just did. Simply pull the mattress pad out of the bassinet. Now we'll set this on the side. We'll now take these tubes out. And basically we're going to take everything that's the play yard now and wrap it up into this. So I'll neatly set the tubes in there. can just uh, simply pull these clips off the edge of the pack and play. Now once you have this removed, you can try to fold it up as best you can. Um, you don't have to be super neat about it. Um, I'll kind of stuff that on one end. Now finally, we're going to pack up the frame of our pack and play. Now to do so, we need to grab this red strap in the middle, pull that up first, and once it's up uh, pretty high, we can grab, we'll start with this side, each of the four rails, and we're going to push that same button that we saw earlier. So push that in, it may take a good bit of force, and then push it down. And we're going to do that with all four sides. There we go. Now you'll notice, like for instance, on this side, uh, this latch hasn't completely, it should be a straight section, a straight section, and another straight section. If it's like that, where this is just two straight sections, it's not completely disengaged. So just make sure you squeeze that button again and push it down like that. If it folds up in a tight package like that, you know you've completely disengaged all the locks. So now we'll take the pack and play here, we'll throw it neatly in the mattress pad and we will proceed to pack up the, uh, or should I say wrap up the pack and play. So finally take this velcro strap, thread it through this loop, and tighten it down. And don't forget your instruction manual, there's a nice pouch on the side that we can Keep it there. Finally, we're going to put it, put the pack of play back inside its travel bag. Now, if you notice, I have the handle on the top side of the pack and play. Now you can align. There's basically a V, a slot in the bag to go around that handle. So I have that slot on the top side of the bag.
Now as you're putting on this bag, it always helps to keep the corners of the bag aligned with the corners of the pack and play. It'll just uh, allow it to go in a little, a little easier. Zip up the bag, grab the handle, and we're ready to go. Here you go, Kelly. Perfect. Looks like we are ready to go. So thanks, Chad. Um, and thank you for joining us. If you have other questions about your products or other products you want to see in this video series, just contact us at twitter.com slash greatgobaby or facebook.com slash greatgo. Um, and if you have any other questions, be sure to always look at your manual. So thanks again. We'll see you soon.